Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design. And in today's video, we're gonna carry on with our Fusion Forms Mastery Series for part 51. And today we're talking about Convert Edge. Now, this is something we have covered in other videos before, and I don't think it has its own place. So we're gonna talk about it here as a tool and why we would use it and when we would use it. So if we have a shape like this that maybe has some geometry that needs to happen after the fact, when we select Finish Form, in a lot of cases, there'll be no edge divisions on the resulting surface or solid body. Now, in some cases, that's perfectly fine. But if we need to do something like have a, a sweep cut on a body, maybe we're adding trim or we're placing some features along those referenced edges, we may want to bring those edges over. Now, there are two things that we should note here. When we're using capture history, if we've got a timeline turned on, in order to get that, we need to manually go to Utilities and Convert. We'll convert our T-spline to a B-rep. That's a basic or boundary representation, basically a solid body or a surface. What we're going to do is select the body. And then we've got this option here called Keep Edges. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is select a couple of these edges. And we're going to make sure that we select OK to create a new body. And now the solid body has those reference edges or divisions on it. So this is helpful, again, if we're trying to add additional features like trim or molding or something else that has to happen after the form is created. Now, there is another way to do this. I'm going to go to Control-Z and Undo. If we turn off our history capture, uh, we have to be out of the form in order to do this. If we turn off our history capture, what this allows us to do is when we're working on a freeform body, it's going to exist at the same time as the surface or solid body. So with the form tools active, we need to manually convert this by going to that same convert tool. And the difference here is that the solid and the surface are going to exist, or the solid and the freeform model will exist at the same time. So for example, if I keep those edges, now I've got this solid body, but the freeform body is still in here and is still active. So turning off history capture uses the same tool, convert whenever we want to turn a freeform body into that surface or solid, but it's just the only way that we can do it. By default, when we have capture history turned on, what this means is that this process happens automatically for us. So anytime we hit finish form, it's automatically going in using convert, but it's not keeping any edges. It's just automatically doing it. And the edges that we get are just a result of the curvature itself. So anytime you need to keep those edges, just make sure you remember that convert is basically what finished form is doing. It just gives you a little bit more manual control. Now, if you have any questions on this, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.